Hi, and welcome back to another Football Shirt Review. Today I am looking at a leaked England home shirt for Euro 2024. This shirt was purchased from a new seller, from gojersey.co or .co. And in the pack, what they did was they gave me this little flyer. Um, so obviously I've purchased the shirts from them, and there's some discount codes that you can get. So, $5 cash coupon, for leaving a review on Trustpilot, if you do a video review, you can get some money back and you get some cash coupons as well, which is really quite useful. Um, they've got a WhatsApp and a Facebook QR code, and there's a QR code there, a QR code, sorry, a coupon code that if you want to um, whack in MC6, you can enjoy $6 off your next order. And there's some examples there of the shirts that they have, kids, adults, retro. But yeah, I thought I'd try them out, um, especially with their new England shirt. It is a leaked one, so we can have a, a good review of it and see what we think to it. Now this is the player spec version as well. Shirt comes in the standard night bag and on the flip side, you just have the standard health warning. Details for the select gojersey.co or .co will be in the description of this video. If you are new around here, make sure you subscribe. And if you do enjoy this content, hit the like button as well. So what we'll do now is we'll get this bag open and we'll have a look at the leaked England Euro 2024 home shirt. Okay, we're on the front of the shirt. And actually, let's just give the full overview for a start. Such a nice shirt, this one. It's got the, again, a nice retro feel to it but with a, a modern look. So we've got a very small collar line. The night tick has been heat pressed on. This is the player spec one, which is why the material's got a nice pattern in it. England badge pressed on, actually. That's clever. So it's not a whole image. So these have been pressed on separately. And the star, I'm not sure on the star, Usually, obviously, they've been gold. What do you think? Do you prefer it being white or, or gold? Or yellow? Sleeves. Look at that pattern there. Obviously, as with most Nike shirts, you do have this patch down the side there. Likewise, on this sleeve, you've got exactly the same. I've got a bit of ventilation in it, though, actually, you can see. At the bottom, we have the engineered Nike. Again, it's got the little shiny bits on it. I do like the material on this one. I really hope this is the correct version. So it is a leaked one at the moment, but let's hope that this is what England come out with. Go on the back. And the collar line, this goes all the way around and it's got St George's Cross there and those colours again from the sleeves which are filtered round from the front all the way to the back stitching looks nice obviously I've got no name or number on this so it is a plain back but actually being the plain white it is quite nice so it will add if you had the name and number on there obviously it would it'd be nice and, and clear and I've noticed actually that the pattern does, does it slightly change no, it doesn't. I thought it did. Oh, no, it does. So up here, the lines are less... Look, down here, you can see the lines are a lot more consistent. I think they are up here. It's like a shorter pattern. At the bottom, though, we do have the dry fit ADV. That's been pressed on. OK, we'll flip it around and we'll have a look at the inside. Okay, we're now on the inside, and you can see where the England crest has been pressed on there. No creases there at all, so you know that's gone really nicely. Likewise with the star, night tick, gone on good. This is what I do like about the player ones, is that on the inside it is nice and smooth. Collar line doesn't look too bad, got a tag up there, but we'll look at that in a minute. But yeah, collar line looks fine. A little bit of excess cotton around there, but we can soon chop that off with a pair of scissors. 
Our washing instructions are down here. Hand wash only, flip the shirt inside out, and you will be good to go. When you dry it, just let it hang dry. Don't put it in a tumble dryer or anything. So engineered and pressed on. The stitching looks as tidy as can be. Fair bit of excess cotton there, but no big problems. Okay, it's the final part of the inside of the shirt, and we'll start with the tag, which is just the standard tags that you get on these shirts. Nike, exclusive product, got the England crest on there, and then it's just got the usual bits dry fit. Zero waste, recycled fibres, obviously, as always, with the plastic tag. We've got the drive for ADV, and we have the size guide there, XL, made in Thailand. Um, with these shirts, these ones being the player spec, it's always worth sizing up. They are expected to be a tighter fit on the body, so if you don't mind a tight fit, then XL um, in this scenario might be good for you. Um, but yeah, if you want a bit more of a free flowing shirt, then definitely, definitely, definitely size up. Oh, oh wow. So we've got washing instructions there, and we've got washing instructions printed on the shirt as well. That is the first time I have ever seen that on any of these shirts. Just move that tag out of the way, if I can. But yeah. There you go. So if you haven't got the tag there, you've now got the information on the inside as well. That'd be interesting to see whether that is how the England shirt actually is, and if that's how the new Nike ones are. And there we have our leaked England shirt for this season or this year. I mentioned at the start of this video, a new seller, gojersey.co. And there's a discount code there of MC6, which will give you $6 off your next order over $36. And there's also the contact details. All this information will be in the description of the video though. And yeah, if you buy some shirts, look, you can actually get yourself some additional rewards, which is great. So I said this from a new seller and I'm really happy actually. I have got a few more shirts from them, so I'll get those up over the next weeks or so. But yeah, can't grumble at all. And I imagine that if this is what the shirt that England have, this is gonna sell quite well. It's calling back on the retro years, a bit like England's last shirt, but this one gives for me the early 90s vibes. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. I do these sort of reviews on a weekly basis. Leave any comments, questions, messages below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.